So we're trying to take this function and find intercepts, roots, vertical, and horizontal asymptotes. To find the y-intercept, we're going to put 0 in for x and solve for y. So 3 times 0 squared minus 8 times 0 plus 5 over 3 times 0 squared plus 7 times 0 minus 20. So you see that we're just left with the 5 over minus 20, which is negative 1 fourth. So we have one y-intercept at negative 1 fourth. Now roots are where the function equals 0, so we need to set the numerator equal to 0. Factor and solve. So I know the factors are going to have to be x and 3x, and we're going to need a 5 and a 1, both negative to get to the negative 8. So we get minus 5x minus 3x, it gives us the negative 8x in the middle. And it gives us two answers of 5 thirds and x equals 1. So the smaller one is 1, the larger one 5 thirds. Vertical asymptotes, we need to factor the top and the bottom. Or actually, no, we just need to factor the bottom. We've already got the top anyway. So the bottom is 3x squared. We're just setting that equal to 0. And to solve it, we'll factor. So 3x, and I'm guessing there's going to be a 3x minus 5 again. And then to get to the negative 20, it's going to be uh, a plus 4. So we get x plus 4. And just check it. So that's negative 20, 3x squared, and we get minus 5x and plus 12. That gives us the 7x in the middle. So setting that e each one equal to 0, we get x equals 5 thirds, and x equals negative 4. Negative 4 is smaller, so that goes first. And the horizontal asymptote, if we uh, look at the leading terms in each one, so we, and which, is the, which are the 3x squared, so 3x squared over 3x squared, the 3's are going to cancel, and we get that there's a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. Because 3 divided by 3 is just 1. So you're just looking at the leading coefficients of the top and the bottom, and or the leading terms of the top and the bottom, and you take their, their coefficients, 3 over 3, which is 1.